Yeah, boy. Hi, Sneakies! It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another life reaction for you guys. And we are on, of course, um, on to part three of my Twice the Glam album first listen. If you've missed part one and part two, uh, you can go and find those in my Twice playlist on my channel. I did them last week. Um, so today we're going to be having part three and part four posted. Uh, so look up for part four. Um, part three is now going to consist of the three tracks. Look at me, uh, rolling, 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 and uh, love line. I'm super excited. Let's just go. Okay, guys. So quick disclaimer before we start. I will be doing lyric videos for these tracks. Um, you know the deal. Um, the music is my priority, so I'll be concentrating on music production. That's what I'll be commenting on. Please don't expect some sort of lyrical analysis. Um, also, these lyric videos are sometimes wrong. Um, if there's a mistake, please correct it for me, but please don't complain. If you have a complaint, please go and do it on the original video. Let's go. We are continuing with Twice's Look At Me. Let's go. I'm sure one of you tried to warn me. I'm sure one of you tried to warn me. I'm sure I saw a comment. You're still a snake. 
all of you snakes, twice snakes, JYP snakes, everyone who works in that company, snakes, stray kids, just because they're part of that company, snakes, everyone snakes. That song is one of the best twice. I say that all the time. Obviously, I have a list. Obviously, I have a playlist with all my favorite twice tracks. That's going in the playlist and that's going near the top. That blew my mind. Those of you who know my music taste, especially when it comes to other groups as well, you know that is my vibe. All the synths, the synths, that sort of synth, that that melody, I loved the rap verse, I loved the actual rapping, their flow, their delivery, I loved the beat switch up during that part. The bridge, that twinkly sound, the ding, ding. Ah. At some point they had some really nice harmonies in the back, those ad libs towards the end. It, the, the, the lyric vid said it was Tiha doing those little ad libs. Ah, oh, next one, next one, next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Next track is Rolling. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Lolly, lolly. I have to do that every time. I can't see the word rolling and not go lolly, lolly, lolly. Let's go. Oh, no. me are you kidding me we literally had my favorite track of the album and then straight after it we literally just had my second favorite track on the album i love that so much there was something so adventurous about it and um, there's that 
I can't explain it, bro, the instrumentation, just everything. First that little riff, um, the little really low synth, the bass, that little riff all throughout, absolutely fantastic. It gave it this sort of funky sound. Um, and I loved how we had it in the verses. And we had that switch up for the pre-chorus, which was quite interesting. It reminded me like of a sort of uh, housey sort of dance anthem pre-chorus, which made me think, right, where is this going? Are we gonna have a housey chorus? But no, it brought us back into that sort of uh, funky sound, um, which I'm really, really glad for. It just, it was just, it was again, it was quite a weird combination, a fusion of sounds. I absolutely loved it. Also, I feel like it was taking me for a ride and adventure because I couldn't predict where some of the sounds were going. I think if you, watch my reactions, you know at this point, I just, when I hear a song and I first hear a riff or something happening, a lot of the time I can predict what's coming next and sometimes I usually sing along or play along like immediately. Sometimes I actually always think as well, maybe some people might assume that I've heard the songs before because I'm so good at doing that. Um, I'm so good at like guessing what the next movie is gonna be in music. I think just because I listen to so much music and I've listened to so much music throughout my life. I just got into the point where I could sort of predict where certain things are going. Um, but in this one, as you can see in the beginning, it kept throwing me off. I kept going to do what I thought was coming next, what I always do, but it kept throwing me off and changing. Um, and I love that, I love that because it's quite rare for me to be able to listen to a song and just not know where it's going. Um, and, it, and like it did with the pre-chorus into that chorus, again, I just, I was, I was in the dark. I wasn't sure what was coming. Um, and I live for that. I love that. And like, also, I really, really enjoyed the rap verse in that. I really, really did. And the previous one as well. Ah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Next up, we have uh, Twice's Love Line. Let's go. What's happening? What's happening? The second half of this album is. Oh. Love 
The second half of this album is where it's at. Yeah, the second half of this album is where it's at for sure, for sure. I love that. I loved how typically twice sounding the chorus was. Do you know what I mean? It just sounded so much like a twice sort of chorus, like the melodies and stuff. Um, but that's what I love most about this song. I thought I love the production, of course. Um, I love that loop. There's so many uh, nice little intricate sounds within the production. Um, but what I loved the most was indeed um, how the song was just sort of composed and written. Um, the lyrics, when I see you guys know, I'm just reading the words, I'm not taking them in. But when I say about the way it was written, I'm talking mostly about the melodies itself. There was just some really nice melodies during the verses, during the pre-chorus, during the chorus, during the bridge, like every, the melodies during the ad-libs towards the end were absolutely flawless i love the melodies so much it was such a beautiful song um also want to say and um, we had uh singing uh Taeyang and singing uh Dayan, which you guys know i love a lot i'm really really glad that a rap verse was not forced into that song because you guys know for a fact i would have complained i would have complained because their vocals fit so well in that it was not needed it was perfect i love that now, i think that was like three of my favorite tracks that's the end of part three, guys. I will see you in part four if you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. I love you. It's my mind. Go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, goodbye. Oh!